Live across North Texas and beyond, this is the Jenna Ryan Show. Ain't that America for you and me? Ain't that America building houses for you? Jenna Ryan is a world-renowned speaker and thought leader. Ranked in the 87th most influential person online by Fast Company Magazine, Jenna Ryan has spoken to thousands around the world and is now speaking to you. So with all things real estate and beyond, here is Jenna Ryan. Hello, everybody. What is up? Welcome to the show. This beautiful Sunday here across the North Dallas Metroplex. It is just a gorgeous day, isn't it? It is amazing. 87 yesterday. Oh, my goodness, I had to get out of the sun, and it's February, and I was actually hot, and I needed a tank top and and, and shorts yesterday. We are loving this weather. Thank you, God, for this beautiful weather and for this beautiful day, and thank you, my beautiful guest, Jana Usselton, who is a certified home stager. Well, thank you. So excited to be here and talk about staging. We're going to talk about staging today. Today is staging day. It's one of my favorite topics, so you guys are definitely going to enjoy today because we're both passionate about staging and I know for a fact that it helps in all aspects of selling your home and I love staging so we're going to talk about it today now Miss Jana is like the guru of all gurus and she won't she's kind of humble so she's not going to sit there and tell you that but um, I've, I've kind of researched her and she is one of the one of the top stagers who's trained all much of the stagers in this in the city so back tell us how you got started back in 2002 you yeah got... 2002 you know we had a home here in the Dallas Fort Worth area that we were trying to sell and um, we got an offer immediately the offer fell through I know that's happened to some many many people out there and we had already moved into our new home so we're trying to sell this vacant property um, not getting many hits we're already paying two mortgages stress to the max right um, we just we thought well people People can walk into this empty home and, and see themselves living there. Um, but that was not the case. So I asked my agent, what if I bring some stuff back in? And he said, you mean staging? And so I, I said, yes, uh, you know, sounds it's better than just having this empty home. Right. Brought some things in. And in two weeks, we had two offers without the variable of price change. And I knew that was, of course, back in early 2000s. Tons of inventory on the market. Right. And uh, I knew there was something to it. So that I, was really the start of everything. I tell you what, um, as an agent, personally, I I had a house and it I didn't know what to do. I mean, I, I literally did not know what to do. It was in, it was in some interesting shape. Yeah. Um, just it was not your typical house. And I knew that people were not going to come in and purchase this property. However, we were in the hottest market that Dallas Fort Worth has ever had and there's no reason why it should the home shouldn't sell. The bones were wonderful. It's just the the the, the uh, furniture wasn't arranged mm-hmm. properly. There was, you know, just all kinds of issues. And so I hired my first stager. And I I I'm telling you, I was in complete awe. Yeah. It was a 2-hour touch up. They came in and they turned this place into a model home. Yes. It's amazing what you can do. It is amazing. And, you know, the things in the home impact the perception of the home. And you wouldn't think so because bones are great. Everything looks great, but it will impact. I mean, this house had some serious problems, (laughs) and they took – it, regardless of the serious problems, we were able to overcome them by, you know, I actually put, went and brought some stuff in, and they just changed the whole the whole value of the home. We sold it in one day, wow. over list price, and I, began, I ever since then, I can't even fathom. Mm-hmm. So now I have a, um, a, a repeatable system yes. and that I use with every single seller. I don't care, you know, generally speaking, there is some stuff, there's some work that needs to be done on the property that even if they're the most wonderful, fabulous decorator in town, unless they're, you know, a stager, they need to know, they need, things need to be done to the home to make it, make it more valuable because of staging. Absolutely. You know, there's method to madness um, whenever yes. you're selling. The way that you live is not the way you list, and it's about the right 
things in the right position. Sometimes you're okay. having to edit. Um, there's too much. And sometimes you're having to add too. So it's right. finding that happy medium um, right. so that the buyer, your target buyer coming in, walking the home for six to 10 minutes is going to connect and they're going to see themselves living. So if it doesn't it does, if it doesn't solve the problem, then, um, you know, it, it really is something that you've got to figure out, you know, what's going to be the best solution to get this to the finish line. Okay. Well, let me just tell you, I look at homes all day long and I'm on the MLS. And when I see a property with outstaging, okay, let's just talk about what a property without staging looks like. Yes. A bathroom with shampoo, somebody's soap, you know, used soap, um, grimy washcloths and things like that. Well, as a stager, if you, whenever you hire, we hire me as a realtor, I hire the stager and the stager. That's the first thing I do is hire my stager, get this home ready. Mm -hmm. And we go in there and, you know, I like to go in there too. I know I'm, I'm a really, they say I'm a really good realtor because a lot of realtors won't go the extra mile like that. You definitely go the extra mile. Uh, thank you very much. I love going the extra mile. It just makes me happy. It makes me feel a part of everything. So I go in and I'll like, I mean, if if, if necessary, I'll go in and well, the, they go in. I'm not supposed to go in. I, I try not to go in, but sometimes I can't help myself and just want to get that house fixed and, and getting it ready to sell. But anyway, and remove all of the clutter. Mm-hmm. You should not be seeing a back scrubber. Okay. Nobody wants to see your back scrubber. That's true. That's true. Or the plunger or anything else. Or the plunger. Or a a dirty trash can. I mean, these are things you don't realize it, but you can actually add value to your property. I mean, it doesn't add value, but it adds a perception of value whenever a home is properly staged. And and one of the worst things I see in photos of other, you know, agents, I, I don't want to put anybody down. Okay, because that's not what I'm all about. We really need to support each other because there's plenty of business to go around. But whenever I see a photo with like junk everywhere, I'm like, man, you could make you could sell that house. It would already be sold. It would not even be on the MLS. If you would just take a minute to go into that person's bathroom and or hire a stager. And right. clean it, out that nastiness. It's about doing a service. And really, that is a disservice whenever you are, you know, the sellers, we love sellers. We work with them day in, day out. They're busy people. They have families. And sometimes they just need to tell them, tell someone needs to tell them what to do. They don't right. know what they don't know. And so really, as the expert advisor, the real estate agent, it's about them solving a problem. Right. And so having full service. And I feel like that's what you do. I do full, full service. service. Yes. I mean, I'm, I literally come in and I understand that like two in every hundred realtors will do what I do, but I bring, I like load up my X5 with stuff and I love it. And I love to bring this stuff in, but she's telling me here that she has a whole service where she'll bring this stuff. And I'm like, okay, that sounds, that sounds good too, because it's, it's a lot of trouble for me to bring stuff in, but I just want my clients to get as much money as they can for the property. So it's worth it to me to do whatever it takes because I'm about, you know, my clients, I want them to get money. I just, it's a personal thing. I want them to get the full value. Like it can make a $10,000 difference. Absolutely. In the home. In the home. And a lot of people don't realize, they don't realize that, hey, nobody, they don't realize what is needed Mm -hmm. in the home. They think it's a, it's a beautiful house. Look at this backyard you know, it's got a pool, it's got this, and people think that their home is real fabulous, which is the truth, but they don't realize how much shampoo out or breadcrumbs or um, dirty windows or a lack of curb appeal. They don't understand how these impact the cell of the home. It, it really makes a huge I can't even explain how big of a difference it makes. It yep. makes it very it, – it, staging adds value to the home. Yep. And it will, you're saying the statistics are like 10%. Yeah, it can definitely add 10% to that bottom line. You know, I know that markets are going to be a great market. We've got lots of uh, – or we have less inventory. And then there's, there's times when you have a ton of inventory. Right. And it's all about standing out above the competition. Um, so if you either want to sell quickly or you want to sell for the maximum value, staging is always going to help no matter what market you're in. And, and that brings up the topic of whenever I come in to sell a property, what I like to do, is, I'm a sales lady, okay? 
I'm a sales lady, and the home is my product right. that I'm going to be selling. And so what I like to do is I like to make the home the hero of the marketplace. So that means the home is completely pristine. It's completely ready. It's priced properly, and it blows all the competition away. And part of that is having the home staged and ready to go. And after and we, we have a break coming up here in a minute, and after the break, we're going to really get into some of the ways that I would come in and help you to get your home ready for sale. And if you are interested in selling your home, I hope that you would call me. My name is Jenna Ryan, and I'm a realtor with REMAX. <clears throat> in Plano, and um, but I can sell everywhere. I sell. I just sold a home in Rowlett. I sold. It's a great thing about technology, right? You can go anywhere. I can go anywhere, and I love to drive. I was. I drove out to the country. I don't care. I just love selling houses. I love helping people. I love staging homes. I love what I do, and I, and and so that is basically what. I'm trying to convey here is that you get an extra service with me, and I would love to list your home. So don't be afraid to call me at 972-510-9177. Also, our phone lines are open right now, you guys. So if you want to call us whenever we return, we can take your call. 214-787-1190. It would be great if you would call and just ask us any questions. If you're a new realtor and you want to know about staging homes or how you can get in touch with Jana, come back after this break. Are you thinking of buying or selling a home? If so, contact me, Jenna Ryan, with REMAX Dallas Suburbs. I was born and raised in Dallas, and I know every area and every suburb. If you're relocating to the area, downsizing, or upsizing, or buying your first home, I can help you find the home that's perfect for you. Contact me today at 972-510-9177. Or go to my website at jennaryanrealty.com. You can also email me at jennaryanrealty at gmail.com. Whether you're buying or selling, I'm Jenna Ryan, your best friend in real estate. I have my own radio show, 25 years of sales experience, and a team of experts to help you with all of your real estate needs. Join me, Jenna Ryan, from 11 to 12 on Sundays, where we talk real estate on Talk Radio 1190. Here's former pro football linebacker Ben Lieber. Bipro is the highest quality whey protein isolate you could buy. There's never any fillers, sugars, or additives, and it's naturally sweetened. It's what you need to build and maintain muscle. Right now, go to BiproUSA.com. That's B-I-P-R-O-U-S-A.com. And when you buy one two-pound jar of Bipro, you get the second jar half off with the promo code IHEART. Plus, you get free shipping. It's BiproUSA.com. Buy one two-pound jar, get the second half off, and free shipping with the promo code IHEART. Bipro. Lean, clean, protein. Texas. It's a big state with a whole lot of wind blowing around. What can we do with all that wind? Or what do you say we power all of our homes with pure 100% wind energy? At Breeze Energy, we're totally 100% green. We don't do coal or nuclear, and we never will. So why not go with the wind? Go to breezeenergy.com. We think you'll see we're a genuine breath of fresh air. All right, listen up, because this is the most important thing you're going to hear all day. What if I said you could make money flipping houses without any cash, credit, or manual labor? And what if I said you could do it part-time from the comfort of your home? Sound unflippin' believable? Hi, I'm Preston Ely, and I'm going to prove it by sending you a free copy of my smash hit selling book, How to Get Rich in Real Estate. It sells online for $19.95, but I'm giving away free copies this week. To get one before they're gone, call 1-800-600-8162. I used to be so broke. I had my electricity shut off nine times, but I figured out a simple way to make money flipping houses without even breaking a sweat. Now I'm living the good life, and so should you. Listen, if you're sick and tired of stressing about money, this book could change your life. Hands down, it's the fastest, easiest way to get started in real estate. Let me prove it. Call right now to find out how to get your free book. When they're gone, they're gone. Call 1-800-600-8162. The phone lines are open at 214-787-1190. 
Here's Jenna Ryan. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. We're so glad to have you here today. I'm here with Jana Usselton, a certified home stager. And she has she owns this fabulous company, one of the largest in the country for home staging. Yeah, Model My Home. We started in 2002 and have loved every moment of it. Yes, and she is like the person that trains all the stagers and all over the country and um, provides lots of services. And the, she's the... I'm, I'm, I did not realize how fabulous she was, and then I met her, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's really good. She knows what she's talking about. So we're going to talk about, um, by the way, the phone lines are open, 214-787-1190. We would love to hear from you. This show is for you, and if you have a question for Jana or for myself regarding professional staging of your home, give us a call, and we would love to answer your question. The next topic we're going to go into... and. You know, I always like to bring really important topics that are meaningful to you. If you're moving to the area or buying or selling real estate in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, that's what I do. So right now we're going to talk about one of the most important parts of selling a home, curb appeal. Yes, curb appeal. Um, You know, it's amazing that people are shopping online these days, and that's the first picture you're going to see is of of that outside home. It has to be spot on. It has to be spot on. And yeah, I mean, used to in the old days, we would say, you know, people are going to drive up and that was more important. But that was before the Internet was big or as big as it is now. But now you want. okay, here's the deal. You want your your curb appeal. You want clean. You want edged. Now, the staging company does not do the edging. The staging company doesn't does a little of the cleaning sometimes. But, you know, if you've got a a bunch of little tchotchkes, you know, the tchotchkes that are really great for you and great for living, but not great. What, how did you put that? You know, you, the way you live is not the way you list. So let's pre-pack. The way you <laughs> live is not the way you list. So let's pre-pack. So you don't want a bunch of, you know, you, you don't want your hose to be all wrapped around the front yard. You don't want a dirty front porch. Little things like this will give psychological unconscious signals to the buyer that this house is not well taken care of and mm-hmm. I don't like it. That's right. That, absolutely. You know, there's a lot of things you can do in the curb appeal and that's going to be their first impression and you're never right. going to get that back. Right. So it's everything clean, pristine, fresh mulch, um, you know, great uh, hardware on the door. Um, yes. There are no bugs in the lights outside. Oh, no, no. I mean, you can easily just update those and just have it clean, looking great, maybe a little color and some flowers and you're done. Right. And you don't want a lot of extra stuff. And you want to clean it up, edge it up, and and have that ready for the staging day because on staging day is when we do the photos. Right. And so um, also, how do you feel about those those uh, screens that block out the sun. So I feel like they're a selling point once you live in the home. So what we like to do, if it is blocking a lot of light, we will let them know, take those down, put them in the garage. We'll still use them as a selling point. Okay. But then that buyer can uh, put them back up if they need to. Okay. I got it. I got it. So um, because a lot of times you want to be able to come into a home and the windows of the home are like the windows of a soul of your home, so your, the soul of your home. And so if you've got those blockers blocking the light, it really can can block the openness of the home and also the sunlight inside. So we recommend putting those in the garage and offering it as a selling tool, you know, as a selling as a as a good impact. That's that's great. Yeah. I like what you said. Okay, so now we're going to move on to some the heart the the heart of staging, which would be the furniture arrangement, right? Mm-hmm. Furniture arrangement is key. Well, it's about having the the right things first. You know, you okay. don't want the doilies and the lace and the um, antiques per se if you're selling a great home built in 2008. You know, it, right. ha- you the style of the items in the home need to really match the style of the property. And okay. then it's all about, um, you know, maximizing. And most of the time these days, people want that transitional look. Um, okay. It's not too traditional and it's not too contemporary. It's right in the middle. Eclectic. You, exactly. You're going to get your target buyer. Um, typically, if they're, you know, younger to middle age, you can obviously see who's moving in the neighborhood, the right. demographics. And you know now how to stage that property. But typically, it's going to be a transitional style. A transitional style. So one of the things that I'm amazed at whenever my stagers come in is that they are able to take the furniture and 
a room that looks very small, they're able to make adjustments. They just have they just have the sixth sense. You just have the sixth sense of how to arrange that furniture in mm-hmm. a way that will make because it's all about the photo. Right. It's all about the photo. We want these photos to be to to sell the house because people are buying online. Well, that's what's going to attract that uh, that look that showing. Okay, that's going to attract the showing. The more people, it's it's supply and demand. The more people we can get out to your property the more people are going to be interested and the more offers we're going to get and the higher price you're going to be able to get. So it's very important that we attract as many buyers as possible with with proper staging. And so the furniture arrangement, what is the proper furniture arrangement? You know, it's all about starting out with what is the main piece of furniture that this room needs. So obviously, if you're staging a dining room, you're going to need a dining table, right? So placing that in the right position, and then you're going to obviously need the chairs. You might have room for a buffet, maybe a round lamp, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, a couple of lamps and a round mirror, and you may be done. So it's all about what is the main furniture um, pieces that this room needs. What is the function of this room? If it's a living room, you're going to start with the sofa. And then you're going to maybe do the coffee table. Then you're maybe going to do it one to two side chairs. And you'll want to quit while you're ahead and, right. and, and really figure out what does this room need to create the conversation area, to create a, the function of the space, and then move on. That's really where you want to start when you're talking about staging. When you're talking about staging the furniture, okay, so I really, okay, so basically if the rooms function, like I had this one client that had this gorgeous home, but they had turned their front entryway into a pool table room. Oh my. So the first thing that you saw. The first thing you saw in this gorgeous (laughs) one acre home in McKinney was just a gigantic pool table with a bunch of beer cans. Nice. Oh, (laughs) Oh yes, and it's we, all I about that first impression, and and you really want to think about that target buyer. If their target buyer is the bachelor, no. maybe, but probably not. Okay, yeah. So if we're talking uptown, then maybe the pool table would be a great <laughs> thing to have. But we're not talking uptown. We're talking people are using their dining rooms as the pool table room. And what would your advice be for the poor realtor that is trying oh, to sell that property? You know, it, it, it's a mix of just. Ha- being able to handle those situations properly. Um, and sometimes the agent is in a tough position. Um, right. And that's why it's great to have a, a professional stager come in and give that advice. We would say, you know, this is one of the first impression rooms. And we always say, what did the builder intend this space to be? We go okay. back to original design. If that builder has has stated that room to be a formal living, even though maybe formal livings are going out, right. you really want to show it as a formal living. Oh. So in that entry, in that space, the builder intended it to be a beautiful space to welcome guests and not with the pool table. So we would say, let's go ahead and prepack this or place it up in a game room area, okay. repurpose it, reposition it, and then let's set it up how that builder intended. And, and you know, builders figure, figured it out a long time ago with model homes. They don't show right. vacant, empty homes. No, they don't. They, they do that for a reason. They purpose every room, and that's what you have to do. And they bring homes. in all the great decor as well. Right. Okay, so... As far as, let's talk about accessories in the property. What about the accessories? You know, accessorizing. So you mentioned the the furniture placement. That's really, it's a one, two, three step process. That's the first step. Okay. Is get the furniture where it needs to be, um, right. what needs to be in the room. Now we're going to step two, accessorize. Okay. And you really don't need a lot. I mean, you may need Yay. just a little bit of- A little of, plant. Yeah, just an, a nice um, little plant there. You might want to get a little bling in. Um, you want to- Yes, you want love, love some bling, love a little sparkle, a little shine. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I and use color. You know, we coord- coordinated um, some pieces as well, so you can really think about um, what is going to be something that gives a little sparkle, a little shine, and is going to not uh, be so buyer specific that someone else right. walks in and they're turned off. Um, so some great color schemes um, with accessories. We love the fluff. Who won't love gray? <laughs> right. Right. Everybody Absolutely. loves gray. It's really difficult not to love gray. Now, let me ask you a question. Thank you for bringing that stuff in. I love it. Okay, let me ask you a question. What if you walk into a home and there's um, a, a very strong pet odor or cooking smell? Mm. What is your recommendation? You know, if you 
we this is a uh, we do talk about senses, right? Senses. So it's all about sight, smell, sound. Um, that's what's going to be going on in that buyer's mind. And right. so when they walk in, they're going to hopefully get a wow factor on the sight. They don't want an odor now coming um, like. Did someone smoke here? You know, is, yes. there, is there food? Um, you know, or is there are there pets going on? So you really want to address anything and solve the problem. Don't cover it up. You know, you can, yes, you can get some um, some plugins and things, but we haven't solved the problem. So I the, don't like the smell of plugins. Like, you know, I don't, some people don't like strong it smell. Senses, it it Any kind of sends strong a message smell. you're covering. Um, okay, right. Like, why, why do they have all these <clears throat> plugins going on? Uh, that's <laughs> and and a, you that's, don't cover it. I'm sorry. We still smell whatever it is you're trying <laughs> right. to cover. Right, it's still underneath. there. Right. So, so you want to solve the problem. So, where number one is the the source of the smell? Do we need to do a deep clean? Do we need to clean out the vents? Do we need to, um, you know, if there is a smoker in the home, we've got to solve that problem um, and, and make sure that everything gets a great fresh clean. Um, do we need to deodorize? What needs to happen to now? Let's get that neutral and a nice clean linen smell, not something that's very fruity or florally but just something that's nice and neutral that just is a good fresh breath of this can make a difference of whether your home will sell or not yes and and in the hot market i mean if your home's under three hundred thousand, we may be able to get away with the little smell right you know we (laughs) may be able to do it we may be able to stage it and just say bye-bye it is what it is (laughs) yeah and you get multiple offers because people are desperately clamoring for homes in certain areas but whenever you start getting up there in the higher price price point homes You really need to have your A game Mm -hmm. on and Mm -hmm. you need to bring it and you need to make sure you work on those smells. And there's vaporizers you can get, Mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Have you ever used those? We have. And there are companies that will do that. And sometimes it may take a couple of different treatments to do. Um, It just is all about solving that problem. You know, if I have a pet odor, well, guess what? We're going to have to really, really clean and the pets can't be in the home anymore, you know? We'll be right back. See see how good this is? Are you considering a mortgage loan? If so, contact my favorite lender, Brad Walters, with American Southwest Lending. He's always available and always on time. He's the only guy I would consider for all of my clients' loans. He's direct and to the point and doesn't give you the runaround. Call Brad Walters with American Southwest Lending at 214-924-1066. He will get the best rate and the best loan for you. I had like memory foams, I had feather pillows, and I'd always wake up with neck pain. After sleeping on my pillow, I didn't wake up with the headaches, I was more aligned. I didn't realize the connection between the pillow and sleep. When I switched to my pillow, I got a better night's sleep and I love it. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of my pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and it holds that support all night long to take the pressure off your shoulders and keep your neck aligned so you get the best night's sleep of your life. My pillow is machine washable and dryable and comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee and an amazing 10-year warranty. Plus, every my pillow is made in the USA. I personally guarantee that my pillow will be the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own. For a limited time, go to mypillow.com and use the promo code iHeart to take advantage of Mike's four pack special. Or call 800 480 1941 and give them the promo code iHeart. You'll get 40% off two My Pillow Premium Pillows and two Go Anywhere Pillows. Dear John, I'm leaving. Uncontrolled high blood pressure is serious, and I can quit whenever I want. Why can't we get back to when you checked on me? I don't want to leave, but remember, when I quit, you quit. Sincerely, your heart. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. High blood pressure can lead to a stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range today. Find out how at heart.org slash blood pressure. A message from the American Heart Association, the American Stroke Association, and the Ad Council. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, the inventor of my pillow. And like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. Pillows would go flat. I would flip-flop all night long. I would wake up with a sore neck, maybe a headache, or feel like I needed a nap even though I slept eight hours. When I invented my pillow, I wanted it to where you could move the patented fill to give you the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of sleep position. My pillow will get you into that deep sleep faster and you will stay there longer. It's not about how much time we spend in bed, it's about how much of that quality sleep we get. 
I do all of my own manufacturing right here in the United States. I have a 10-year warranty. You can wash and dry my pillow, and I give you a 60-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to lose. Go to MyPillow.com or call 800-480-1941 and use the promo code IHEART. For a limited time, go to MyPillow.com and use the promo code IHEART to take advantage of Mike's four-pack special or call 800-480-1941 and give them the promo code IHEART. You'll get 40% off two MyPillow premium pillows and two Go Anywhere pillows. Welcome back to the Jenna Ryan Show on Talk Radio 1190 AM. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. So glad to have you here on this beautiful Sunday. I'm here every Sunday from 11 to 12 here at 1190 AM and live on Facebook at Jenna.Ryan1. I'm here today with my wonderful guest, Jenna Usselton, who is a certified home stager and the owner of one of the largest home staging companies in the country. Yeah, and- we love it. We um, model my home here in Dallas, Fort Worth, and uh, staged almost 5,000 homes what? in our history. So it's it's amazing to be able to help that many families. So we're not messing around. We've got the top person here, and I'm very glad to have her here. So let's talk about, okay, uh, you, you brought something up during the break, <clears throat> staging diva, mm. okay? And I've talked to realtors and not just um, stagers, but you don't want a staging diva. No, there has to be some etiquette in this. And it's all about, we are a service. We are here to serve. We are here to help someone get from A to B. So that has to be what drives us. That has to be our heart and our passion is to help them any way. Not uh, to criticize, not to criticize everything and make them feel like crap. We're not here to, I mean, some people are like, ah. Yeah, you need to move this. You need to get this out. This is awful. That's I never do that to people. Right? They ask me, and I'm like, you know what? I let them know what may help them, but as a general rule, I go, I err on the other side of no. You don't have to do it. You know, I mean, especially in this market. Now it may change as the market changes, but in this market. I, I just don't like to put a lot of stress on my clients right. and make them feel like their home is not good enough. And so if you come across a stager that's a staging diva and trying to tell you that your stuff is not good enough, get, you're, you're with the wrong stager. You've yeah. got to call Jenna Ryan. Can I share a little a little story that happened actually on Thursday? Please. Um, so there was a beautiful home, Castle Hills area here in our Dallas-Fort Worth area. Beautiful. It's going to be selling for, you know, six to seven hundred thousand. Wow. And right in the um, entryway, you walk in, you've got a beautiful study. Okay. Um, well, the the mom of the home has a great online business and she makes these cute little dresses for girls. Oh. I mean, it's amazing. But guess what? That whole study was set up as her sewing room. Okay. And as you, it, it, it's, Again, the way you live is not the way you live. So she, uh, we had to come in and just say, you know, this is a beautiful um, room. Um, can we actually take these things and move them up to a secondary bedroom? Right. Um, and then we'll set this and display it up as a as a great study. And she was fine with that because oh, yeah. her life oh, yeah. has to still go on. Um, but if we wouldn't have been there to be a help in time of need, to be able to give her a solution, right. um, then that home, that could have stopped a sale just because that people could have could Stop the sale. Beyond it. And you could lose five, ten, twenty thousand on on the price point. Right. You have to lower the price. Right. And you don't even know why. And it's like at the end of the day, had you have moved it. Also, um, you know, there's certain certain religious things, mm-hmm. items. Absolutely. You know, overly religious. Um yeah, it's not overly to them. No, no. Right. I, I don't mean overly. I mean if you're going to sell, you don't. You you may have other people coming in that are not that religion, right? And so it may may not appeal to them, and right. it may make them feel uncomfortable even, and they won't want to purchase a home just because you have a cross mm-hmm. or a temple mm-hmm. or or some sort of place of worship. And so you have to be really sensitive with people because this is you know their spiritual life and it's yes. their heart and it's their home and it can be really hard for people but what we try to do is be as gentle as possible and have etiquette and mm-hmm. respect right and we don't just come in and you know knock all your stuff down we 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 discuss it with you and let you know why certain things might mm-hmm. be better just Absolutely. Like you know, at the end of the day, we're trying to sell a product just like you were selling a car. You're going to wash it up. You're going to get it clean. You're going to take everything out that doesn't belong, you know, the old uh, the old 
French fries, all of those things to get it to be a beautiful, beautiful top dollar product. Right. But here's the thing. Whenever you're living in a home, life does go on. Yes. So it, picking our battles on, you know, uh, what is important to that homeowner, if it's important to keep the lazy boy right in front of the TV right. then, um, and, and they're sick or something, you know, we, there's so many different situations that go on. We've got to understand that family right. and, and really be empathetic to that. And then on the other hand, we've got to say, well, this is a product. So let's come up with some some solutions here. Let's come up with, um, you know, some some things that we can work together on and come up with a solve that will get this home sold, but allow you to still live here as well if, if that's what you're doing. Right. Also, a lot of um, issues can come up whenever you have like a big collection. Yes, like collection. okay, let's say you have a doll collection. I've gone into homes and I've shown homes and there's this absolutely amazing doll collection like you've never seen. Right. Well, what happens is when you have personal items like this, the buyer walks straight into the home and becomes mesmerized by your doll collection or by your personal items or by your degrees on the wall or all these things, you know, there, there's different right. th- things that are really personal or even your personal photos. Mm-hmm. They become mesmerized and I can't get them to look at the house. Well, here's a good thing, Jenna. Anything, a great rule of thumb is anything that's going to distract a buyer needs to go. When right. in doubt, take it out. Oh, when in doubt, take it out. I like that. And and you want to take out also, that brings me to the thought that you want to take out anything that is... For photo purposes, mm-hmm. that's smaller than a fist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's just, it becomes clutter too much. Think about a buyer's eye is going to stop. They're going to scan a space and they're going to stop at every little thing in the home. So right. um, in that room, there may be 15 different items, big, small, whatever. They're going to literally scan and try to take everything in in, in a few seconds. The, every little thing, their eyes going to stop and notice. So absolutely. So get out, you know, the things, that are the collections. Go ahead and prepack those. When you get, when you work with an agent like you, you're going to sell very quickly. Right. And so why not do some work up front and prepack a lot of things? So when you do get that offer, now you've done half of the work. Right, right, right. And so I want to um, tell you. So what I do is is a part of my service is I pay for the staging process. And so she charges anywhere from you know for a two hour touch up you may charge two two fifty, and then she brings stuff in that would cost a little more. So I pay for that process, and and on every you know listing that I do, on most of the listings, what I do if someone is living in the property is I have the stager come at nine in the morning, and then we have the housekeepers come for about four to five hours because that house needs to be clean, and the stager mm-hmm. a lot of times. Um, will cause dust to fly all in the in their house, and you know dust is everywhere. And so we need a, we need a deep clean. Mm-hmm. So I have a deep clean come in. I don't pay for that part, generally speaking. And then right after that, we like to go straight into photos because the beds will never be that perfectly made. I mean, mm-hmm. they, these ladies, when they come into stage, the beds are very important and how they're made are is very important. Right. So the beds will never probably ever look that good again unless you really are careful and, and make it every day. So we love to get it all done on one day. And that's the process, my proven repeatable system. And love I it. put it on the market. And then usually if it's under 300, especially it sells in a day, two days. And it's just this little system I have and it works like a charm. Well, I love that because you, you're not selective on which house gets staged and which doesn't. Right. Everyone goes to the same system. So they're not offended when a, you feel they feel like they're the one, they're the ugly duckling that needs to be staged. Great agents have great systems. Right. This is my system. And I love to take a house where I know that they would get a certain amount and then we come in and stage it. It makes me feel like a hero and it just makes me feel good inside to be able to help people that way. So um, and and it's it's a two hour process mm-hmm. and you walk through it with with them and you give them a plan of action and. And we do, you know, we do uh, for them so that we don't leave them with a big list that they now need to do. It's about, we can't, we're, we're non-emotional. We're not connected to their things. Right. We can go in with fresh eyes and make immediate decision on what needs to change. We ask two key questions. Number one, is there anything you don't want us to use? And where do you want us to place the stuff we're not using? And then we can go in and get that done quickly where it might take them Three to four days to do, we can do in a couple of hours. Okay, so there's some services that I've heard about I've never used where the realtor will bring someone in, have some, send someone into your place, 
you know, and that person will give you this long list of things to do. And that's just not how it's going to work at Jenna Ryan Realty. <laughs> I'm, I'm with Remax Dallas Suburbs, and that's just not going to work yeah. for me. Okay, I am a hands-on realtor, so I take care of you. Mm-hmm. I don't want you thinking about anything that you don't have to. So that's why I come in and really, and that's what I love about this two-hour staging thing, because I know I bring the stagers in, boom, boom, and boom. Now, sometimes there might be some things that they can't do, but Mm -hmm. these ladies, they move furniture. Mm -hmm. And you know what else they do? They repurpose things that you would never have dreamt of doing. Like, (laughs) you know, I've seen them like take a, 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 what do you call it? A a shelf, you know, a coffee table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've I've seen them make coffee tables out of boxes (laughs) and make lamps out of, you know, they use this. And then I've seen them go outside and grab, you know, some some flowers out of the garden right. and put them on the table. And they just love it. They're creative. We're talking creativity here. And this little extra oomph to your house makes a huge difference at the end of the day. And it looks like, hey, someone really cares. Mm-hmm. And whenever the buyer walks in and they're like, wow, someone really cares about this home. And it makes them, I don't care if you have wallpaper from the 60s if you have now preferably you don't have wallpaper from the 60s but if, depending on the price point of the home it doesn't people are like oh i don't care look how cute this is it just makes them want to come and live in the property yeah and 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 so one of the important things is removing personal items yes you know it is, it is about the details it's about making sure that we are good on um what stays and what goes what is there's only a few items that need to be displayed and so making sure we're telling the right story when you, when someone walks in we're telling a story and yes. we want to make sure we're connected and we with have a that break buyer. we yes. have a break coming up but i love talking about this stuff so we're going to talk about it right when we get back don't let me forget what we're talking about we, we have to talk about personal items. Mm -hmm. I love that. Don't you love it? We'll be right back. Okay. This black man with black hair Are you ready to take advantage of this hot Dallas real estate market? If so, go to my website at imaysell.com. Fill out the form and receive valuable information about selling your home. The Dallas real estate market is hotter than ever. We're having the biggest real estate boom in 10 years. Maybe it's time for you to sell your home. If so, visit imaysell.com. That's imaysell.com. Fill out the form and receive valuable information about selling your home in the Dallas, Denton, and Collin counties. Hi, I'm David Bellman, inventor of the Aquasonic Wave Jewelry Cleaner and Jewelry Hygiene Pioneer. What is jewelry hygiene? I've discovered that because we don't clean and sanitize the jewelry we wear, dirt and bacteria builds up to levels five times greater than a public toilet. A biofilm of microorganisms grow under your gemstones and small openings in rings, bracelets, and necklaces. This bile not only dulls the beauty of your jewelry, but it also contributes to 80 million Americans contracting food poisoning every year. Moms, think about it. One minute you're changing diapers, and the next, making your child's lunch. And you wonder why your child gets sick so often. We all know our jewelry's dirty. Filthy dirty. Now is the time to take action and do something about it. Go to AquasonicWave.com and watch my demonstration videos. Clean your jewelry and kill bacteria all in one easy step. The Aquasonic Wave is the world's best jewelry cleaner. Order yours now at AquasonicWave.com and click on the iHeart tab to receive free shipping plus an extra six-week supply of antibacterial hydrogel. That's AquasonicWave.com. All right, listen up, because this is the most important thing you're going to hear all day. What if I said you could make money flipping houses without any cash, credit, or manual labor? And what if I said you could do it part-time from the comfort of your home? Sound un believable Hi, I'm Preston Ely, and I'm going to prove it by sending you a free copy of my smash hit selling book, How to Get Rich in Real Estate. It sells online for $19.95, but I'm giving away free copies this week. To get one before they're gone, call 1-800-600-8162. I used to be so broke, I had my electricity shut off nine times. But I figured out a simple way to make money flipping houses without even breaking a sweat. Now I'm living the good life. 
and so should you. Listen, if you're sick and tired of stressing about money, this book could change your life. Hands down, it's the fastest, easiest way to get started in real estate. Let me prove it. Call right now to find out how to get your free book. When they're gone, they're gone. Call 1-800-600-8162. Welcome back to the Jenna Ryan Show. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for listening here on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. We're here every Sunday from 11 to 12, and I always try to bring really good, informative topics, content that really matters to you if you're buying or selling real estate or if you're moving to the area. I'm really trying to bring you information that's helpful. And so today we're talking about something I deal with every single day. It is staging. I do a ton of listings. In fact, I I just won like number two listings. Congratulations. Thank you. I was like, whoa. Um, I I, Number two most listings. So I'm I'm a listing beast. Mm -hmm. I just love it. I love listing. And I stage my properties so that they sell for top dollar. And so we were talking about editing, and someone on our Facebook Live at Jenna.Ryan1, they said, so no personal photos. You know what? No. Um, yeah, you know, it's it really with, uh, if it's a distraction, it goes back to that rule of thumb. If, it's right. a, if it is in a place to distract someone, you want their eyes on the home and not the family in the home. Right. And so we really want to think about, you know, if it's a small little picture of you skiing at Lake Tahoe on a side table, not a big deal. But if it's Johnny from um, kindergarten to senior high. The focal point yeah, of the wall. Yes. Or your marriage photo. Like we really don't, we want to see ourselves living there, not the current Seller. Exactly, exactly. And so now we're going to talk about, again, because this is one of my favorite parts, is accessory placement. And um, so what is the triangle effect? You know, triangle effect, um, it can be be measured different ways. We like to even think about it as a cascade effect. You know, using threes um, in its position, um, you, can, you can do this with twos. But thinking about something that's a little taller. So I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me go back to my little... Um, my little props here. We've got a nice little vase. I've got something that is um, a little um, a little foliage, and then I've got something that's a little bit smaller, um, and it goes into just like this cascade, this cascade or like a waterfall effect. So I've used three, and they just they're not the same size. Um, I can position them to where they just look beautiful on a table. And thinking about the the threes um, working together um, really just kind of gives a little bit of an interest, a little bit of a design appeal. Staging is not decorating or design; it's about selling a property, enhancing a property and a space. And so you can do that very creatively with just a few of the things, um, uh, components of design like scale and um, balance and all of that. But really think about, you know, decorating, staging, not the same. It's about personalizing and depersonalizing. That goes back to I photos. love that. I love that because that's exactly, you took the words out of my mouth that I didn't even think I knew, but that's what I was thinking. And so, but whenever I'm talking about the triangle effect, like it, let's say you have a room and you have, don't you want to have like the focal point? You want a focal point in yeah, a room. Yeah, you do. Every room is usually going to have a focal point. So if that is the fireplace, you know, if you're talking about the features or the elements of a property, you may have the beautiful view or the island in the kitchen. That's going to really be that focal that's going to take that attention, capture it when they walk in the room. Okay, so you want to have the focal point, and that's what we 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 leave for the experts to do. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, like I said, I'll bring things out, or they will use stuff in your house. So they may take the photo or the the big picture from the bedroom and move it to the mm-hmm. living room or move it to the entryway, and they just do whatever it takes to make your home look lovely for these photos. And they take and we edit. Like we'll take. I mean, I've gone in with my stagers before and we'll like take stuff to the garage most of the time they're doing it because i'm out listing properties but taking stuff to the garage and usually the garage doesn't really matter the garage doesn't have to be that clean does it yeah you know we always say leave at least room for one car and then start on the opposite wall and if you're gonna put stuff in there keep it nice and neat it's better in a storage unit than in a garage but it's better in the garage than in the home 
Okay, and what about closets? <laughs> closets, about 70% full. You need to be able to see up, down, side to side because as you are, you know, if you are ever buying a home, you want to see the storage space in those closets. You want a home that can, can um, you can grow into. And so if the closets are full, fully packed, it sends a message that this home doesn't have enough storage space. So about 70% full is ideal, nice and organized, and, and make sure that people can see up and down and side to side. Perfect. That's really good advice. Yeah. I really appreciate that. And then what about for the backyard? Backyard, you know, just clean, almost like the front yard. You want to wow them there, especially if you have an outdoor retreat and you have a covered patio. Try to create a sitting area, another dining area. So you're actually adding rooms to the space. Okay. So take that living area outside and keep it just nice and pristine and um, set it up like you're almost having some people over um, so that people can get the, that wow factor and see that as a great entertaining space. Right. I've seen people actually, you know, st my stagers, they'll take dishes and they'll put up, you know, like a, a table for two with mm -hmm. the glasses and the napkins and the fork. You know, they usually don't do the forks, but they do the, the glasses and they set that up. Now, what about um, I've heard a lot about and, and we use this a lot where if you have like an empty space, you want to turn it into usable space, maybe put a little desk there with a chair, a reading nook. Many homes will have flex spaces, is what we call them, where you could literally set up a, a desk area so the kids don't have computers in the bedrooms, or, or um, you know, maybe you've got a game room, or it's a little side room that it could be an exercise room. You can. We try to do dual purpose with those, so we might set up hmm. two little functions in there, or um, we've even gone to the length, especially when we're working with a builder and investor, and they don't stage that room. We literally have built a board um, that is on an easel that just shows all the functions that they could do in that room. It wow, could be a second a study, idea. you know, a workout area, but especially in a game area that can be a flex space, we try to set up a sitting area plus a game table so that people can say, well, mm. I could turn this into the media if I needed to. Um, so you're going to have those spaces. You want to just allow people to dream and that space be what their family would need it be, to and be. So you want to open up the space, remove your stuff, <clears throat> give yes. them space to do what they want to do. Now, let's talk about vacant properties, you know, Ooh. flipped homes. You actually offer that service as well. How much staging is necessary for a Vacant well, property. you can you can have most stagers are going to have different packages. You can go anything from highlight stage all the way to full stage. Um, and where we feel like the sweet spot is is staging the um, heart of the home. Okay. And that's the there you're going to have primary areas and you're going to have secondary areas. So the primary areas are going to be your living rooms, your dining rooms, your kitchen, the master bedroom. Don't forget the master bedroom. Right. And then the bathrooms. You know, secondary um, bedrooms and maybe some of those flex spaces um, or bonus areas aren't as important as the heart of the home. And you're just allowing people, you are setting up kind of a you're styling the property um, so that people can see themselves living there. You know, if they've got a sofa or two sofas or they've got a king bed or a queen bed, is it going to fit? Am I still going to have enough room to function? That's what they want to see. Um, so you, you're you literally styling the property. Okay, that's very interesting. Yes. So we, we love it. And vacant staging will add dollars to that bottom line. So how much do you charge to bring in the furniture and everything? Well, it can be uh, based on some stagers will price based on square footage. Some will price based on uh, price point or distance. There's a lot of factors in room staged and how much inventory is actually going into a home. So it really is a, a case by case all over the nation. Um, we typically work off of um, a list price and then the area. So usually less than a percent for our area. Now you may be in Chicago, you may be in New York and, and in, in Orlando, um, then it may be a different pricing and all is about what is your market going to bear. So we typically, it's usually less than a percent of okay. that 
okay. less price. Wonderful. What what local photographer do you recommend? Oh, you know, well, we have brought it in house. Wow. Um, so we That's love interesting. because you know, with pictures, you're going to have rights to those pictures, and we want to make sure that we can then own those pictures, and that when we share them with you, you can now own them. And and so there are some great photographers in the Dallas Fort Worth area. You want to work with a residential photographer, um, not someone that literally takes pictures of families because it's Absolutely. different lighting, it's different lenses, there's different layering to that. And and so we actually have it in house. That's we love great. It. That's great to know. So you can come in and get hurt. Now, all you need is a housekeeper and shoot, yeah, one, one stop, stop shop. shop. Yep. Okay. And we have a question from uh, on Facebook Live, Garrett Greg Medina. He says, uh, good question. To, th- th- if you have a neighbor's home that's been foreclosed next door, which I just sold a property like this mm. from the tornado, the next door neighbor's home was ravaged by a tornado, oh, wow. and this one was rebuilt, and that one hadn't been done yet. And is it a good idea to go over there and pay to have it mowed? Oh, gosh. You know, that's a question. That's a question for um, you guys as that expert advisor. Yes. You know, I feel like. I would like, say yes. Yeah. With, with, if it's going to impact negatively yeah. Yeah. your listing, um, because that listing, just like you do, Jenna, I mean, that's a representation of you. It and is a so reputation. It's my name. You if want it's your have name, my name on in it, front of that. My um, sign. Then it's it needs to. Everything needs to look great. So think about the investment of it. Is it going to pay off? Right. And I like to make sure that my homes that I list look amazing because I don't want to put my name and my my you know my marketing and then have someone's home not look perfect. Um, That's perfect. Oh my gosh, we've only got one minute left, and you know what? We've got some great shows coming up in the future. I can't wait till we have Phil Drone with the. Um, Dallas Home Builders Association oh, wow. coming up. Yeah, that'll be an exciting show. And we have a couple of other shows, just um, great shows coming up. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Join us next next week from 11 to 12. And have a wonderful week. I still have a little longer to go, so... We're still here. How do we get in touch with you, Jana, for Model My Home? Modelmyhome.com. And we do have some free resources at myhsra.com. Okay. So that people can can uh, download a pre-staging checklist, a pre-showing ch- checklist. So okay. Model My Home and MyHSRA. Okay. And then what's your phone number for that? We are here locally at 972 733 Three four three five. And so if someone wants to get their home staged, they can just give you a call. Absolutely. We're here to help. Y'all have a great week. Talk to you soon. You've been listening to The Jenna Ryan Show on Talk Radio 1190 AM. For more information, contact Jenna through Facebook or email at JennaRyanRealty at gmail.com. Join us again next time on Talk Radio 1190 AM for The Jenna Ryan Show.